Okay, hey guys, uh, this is the third part of my tutorial. Uh, I think this is the third and the final part uh, because I'm only showing you the basics of doing this. There are many ways to do this uh, with uh, the V ray uh, camera and all of that. I'm just showing you the basics uh, that will get you a nice render and such. Uh, okay, so now let's get started the first thing that we're gonna do is uh, hmm, let's see uh, go to your sun object or light and I don't know I'll flip it like this and what else what else yeah like this Okay, now um, go to intensity color and make the multiplier 10. Uh, go to V ray shadows parameters and select box. And let's have a look see and see how it goes. Okay, as you see, uh, we don't see the light coming in through the windows. Now, V-Ray doesn't recognize uh, transparency so I mean the light doesn't uh, doesn't go through transparent items so what we need to do is remove uh, the windows and yeah so go to your perspective view uh, leave the camera alone and go to your main window that is this one and go to the modifier list and for some reason it bugged never mind and select ed edit poly okay now let's look like this okay now select element and select the window and click detach and it will detach it from the uh, whole frame now unselect that and select your move tool select the window by clicking here and as you see I'm moving you can see here the line this is the window the cool thing is look I'm deleting I'm deleting this and all of the windows are without any glass that's super awesome they're without glass and it's easier to uh, well to manage not uh, having to delete all of the glass from every single window okay let's get back to our hmm, let's get our, back to our camera use camera okay let's give it a test render okay as you see uh, the light is now going through the windows and it's uh, on our floor and I think it's very good but I'm not liking the floor too much you know what I'll search for an image a wood image from Google let me just open my browser okay I'll go to Google sorry my keyboard yeah never mind wood texture okay and I think I'll add wood floor texture and what well I don't know I'll take this because it's light and I like it okay uh, so hmm, actually I've used this before Okay, I'm going to save it on my desktop. And I'm going to go in 3ds Max, make a new um, V-Ray material. And <coughs> go to Maps 
and on the fuse map select bitmap and go to your uh, desktop or wh wherever you saved it and select it uh, go up and on maps uh, go to bump and select it again so it's kind of realistic maybe I'll increase I'll increase it to 40 maybe 50 what else what else hmm I think that's okay reflection reflection wait I'll add this map again to the reflect I'm not sure if it will work but I'll try I'm hoping that it will work and no it doesn't work maybe I'll increase the reflect I'll set it to 10 Oops. and what else reflect I'll make the reflect color 45 and yeah let's give it a test run very see silly me I forgot to apply it to the floor ooh I don't like that it's pointing white huh well maybe I'll turn off the reflect map hmm Well, let's see. As you see, the result is horrible because I don't know. <laughs> I'll try to do something. I'll go into here. Uh, where is the map? And I've got a wood image, so I'll use that. You can use whatever you want, I'm just using this. okay and I'll add it to a box and it looks kinda nice now okay apparently I'm not good at texturing so um, so yeah well that was the basics of uh, three uh, of making a, an interior with 3ds max and v-ray and yeah thanks for watching my tutorial please subscribe check out the designerslist.com and i'm gonna kill a dude who's spamming me in steam so yeah see ya